Hello, I'm Maxine Henry. I serve as the project co-director of the National Hispanic and Latino ATTC. Welcome back to our video series. As we enter the month of May, we would like to celebrate Mental Health Awareness Month. Since 1949, we have observed this month in order to bring awareness to those experiencing behavioral health issues with a goal to end the stigma and to increase efforts to provide care. This month, we would like to bring attention to co-occurring disorders experienced by many. A co-occurring disorder, or a dual diagnosis, is defined as someone who is diagnosed with both a mental health disorder and a substance use disorder. Data indicates that individuals with a mental illness are more likely to also experience a substance use disorder when compared to those who are not experiencing a mental illness. And studies have shown that individuals experiencing a mental illness are more likely to self-medicate as a way to cope with their mental illness, raising the potential for a substance use disorder. In 2018, SAMHSA's survey on drug use and health reported 9.2 million adults living in the U.S. alone have a co-occurring disorder. The good news is there's a lot of evidence that people can and have successfully accessed treatment focused on treating both diagnoses at the same time. Recovery from a dual diagnosis is possible. Treatment for a co-occurring disorder looks a bit different, rightfully so. Therefore, it is important for providers to understand and seek to implement tailored approaches for these community members in need of the specialized care. SAMHSA offers a free toolkit for the successful delivery of this type of service. There's great news for community members seeking this type of treatment as well. As a matter of fact, this year, Mental Health America is continuing its campaign of Tools to Thrive, providing practical tools that everyone can use to improve their mental health and increase their resiliency, regardless of their personal situation. Some of the items they address in these toolkits include radical acceptance and taking time for yourself. I recommend you visit their website, mhanational.org, to access these free tools. When seeking care for a dual diagnosis, be open with your providers. Don't hesitate to advocate for care to simultaneously address both the mental health and substance use disorder. You can enter and successfully sustain recovery from both diagnoses. We are working hard to increase the bilingual and bicultural workforce to make sure that everyone who wants help can access it in their own language. Thank you for watching this video. Remember, you can find this content in Spanish and Portuguese. Come visit our pages next month for new contents, and we invite you to join our Juntos Network to get a first glimpse at our upcoming events. Please share this with your family, friends, and colleagues. Stay safe, healthy, and remember, we're all in this together. Until next time, thank you, bye.